Hi guys, so today we are talking all about some real life examples of dramatics and soft dramatics. These ladies sent in their photos to be used in some of my videos so that you guys could take a look at some real life examples. So let's say thank you to them in the comments. And you guys know that the call for photos has been over for quite some time now and I have a ton of photos so I am not accepting any more. And also you guys know that I do offer consults through my website on color as well as body typing. So if you're interested, I will leave a link down below to those. So one more thing and that is that these videos are artisanal. So I don't always have exact control over how many examples of each body type I can give in a video. Today we have two dramatics and three soft dramatics because dramatics tend to be a bit more rare, but at the same time, they're also easier to recognize, I would say, than maybe gamines or classics are. So hopefully you guys can get a good sense of what to look for if you suspect you might be a dramatic. So we've gotten a lot of newcomers, a lot of new subscribers, so let's talk briefly about what we're even doing here. So there is a stylist named David Kibbe, and he came up with a body typing system that splits body types into five main categories, primarily on bone structure, I would say. So we can say that dramatics on the left, like Tilda Swinton, have long and narrow bones. Naturals, like Selena, have some wider bones, but also still long. And classics, like Zhang, have some moderate bones that are not too long and not too short and not too angular and not too rounded. Romantics like Marilyn Monroe have some rounded shorter lines to them and gamines have a mixture of sharpness and softness, maybe length and shortness to their bone structure. And today we are going to be talking about dramatics and their subtype, soft dramatic. So let's get into our first example. This lady is a dramatic and you can see how she has a lot of angularity to her bone structure in her face and overall all in her skeleton and you can also see that her features are pretty taut on her face her cheeks are pretty taut and not so soft her eyes are almond shaped and her lips are full but this is only one answer and it's not going to change her overall type into soft dramatic because you can see that her body is also pretty lean and pretty straight and she has those long straight lines that really characterize the dramatic body type and also those angles and long bones as well long and narrow bones and you can see how she looks absolutely amazing in some long narrow silhouettes some asymmetry some fabrics with a sheen on them some geometrics to pick up on the geometrics of her bones and also i love the image on the right of her especially in that jacket i think she looks absolutely stunning in this kind of dramatic inspired jacket with the long lines and the large geometrics of the collar and that just looks so 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 amazing on her. Next up, we have another dramatic lady, and this time it's not as easy to tell from her face alone if she is dramatic or maybe some kind of gamine because she does have some yin answers in her face. She has some rounder eyes, she has a tapered jawline, so perhaps some kind of gamine. But when we look at her body type as a whole, we can see her long, narrow bones, and we can see that she has a bit of a straighter figure as well, and not so much a mixture of opposites in her figure. There's not a mixture of opposites in her bones. Primarily, she still has pretty angular bones and pretty long lines to her and she also looks quite tall. So she looks amazing in some longer lines with some geometrics as well to pick up on some of her longer lines of her body. A lot of people ask me about hair and what to do if you are a romantic with straight hair or a dramatic with curly hair. And I would say what matters most about hair is not so much if it's straight or curly, but rather the outer outline of the hairstyle. So you can see here on the left, I think that looks really good on her. And you can see that that hair has some angularity to it, to the outer shape, some blunt cut, a bit of angles around her face, and that looks really awesome on her. Next up, we have soft dramatic. Soft dramatics have a dramatic skeleton. That is, they have some pretty long angular bones, pretty narrow bones and on top of that they have some softness added to it so they will have some sharp facial bones but some soft facial features some long and narrow bone structure to their skeleton but at the same time some softness to their figure so that is what characterizes soft dramatic so let's take a look at some soft dramatic ladies 
So you can see this lady is a soft dramatic. You can see that she has some angularity to her facial bones, a sharp nose, some sharp cheekbones, a sharp jawline. But on top of that sharpness, she also has some pretty rounded, pretty yin eyes, some full lips. So this is her yin undercurrent coming through from her flesh and her facial features. And in the same way, when you look at her body, you can see that she has some longer arms and legs with a narrow bone. And she also has some pretty angular shoulders as well. And so on top of that angular skeleton, we also have some softness and some yin added on top of the yang skeleton. And so she looks amazing in some draping, some luxurious fabrics, and she also looks amazing with that really oversized flower in her hair. These kinds of oversized accessories look amazing on soft dramatics. Our next lady is also soft dramatic, so you can see how she looks pretty tall and she has some angular bone structure, some longer arms and legs, maybe some more sharp shoulders, but on top of that, again, she has some yin facial features, some soft cheeks, some full lips, and she also has a pretty shapely figure as well. I would say this soft dramatic lady also has some ethereal essence and you can see on the left there she looks pretty ethereal in my opinion and she also looks amazing in some lightweight draped fabrics like on the right. I also love the image in the middle where she has some slightly glamorous hair and an ensemble look which is really important for soft dramatics to have a look that is all put together and not a mixture of opposites. So you can see that she has some waist emphasis there and also some tapered shoes to pick up on the yin undercurrent and at the same time she has a long line from top to bottom of the same color to pick up on her longer vertical lines as well so I think she looks amazing there too. Next up, we have another soft dramatic lady. So you can see that she has some sharper facial bones, a sharper nose, some sharper cheekbones. But of course, for soft dramatic, it's harder to see this sharpness in the facial bones, this sharpness and angularity in the skeleton in general because of the added softness on top of this sharp and angular bone structure. But it is there. You can see that underneath her softness is a lot of structure to her face. And you can see that her her cheeks are pretty soft and her eyes are pretty upturned and her lips are pretty soft and full as well and likewise her figure and her body has some more softness to it and that really adds to her yin undercurrent as a soft dramatic and you can see she looks amazing in the image on the left where she has some shorts on with some rounded lines to them but at the same time some deeper pleats and that looks amazing on her a bit of waist emphasis and in the middle I think she she looks amazing and she has a little bit of ethereal essence as well there I would say and on the right you can see that she's wearing a primarily classic look and you can just see her lines of her body as they are and she is definitely a soft dramatic. You guys know I think classic lines look really good on everyone because they don't fight against the natural yin yang balance of your body because they themselves are balanced and I have a whole video on this if you're interested on seeing how different body types look in classic lines and I'll leave a link to that down below. All right, so let's get into a quick comparison between dramatic and soft dramatic. So you can see that when we compare dramatic and soft dramatic, they have some similarities in terms of their bone structure. They both have some pretty sharp cheekbones, a sharp nose, maybe a sharp jawline, but soft dramatics on top of that sharp bone structure will have some more soft flesh, maybe fuller lips, maybe rounder eyes, maybe softer cheeks, and so their bone structure is not potentially may not look as sharp as dramatic bone structure but in fact it is just as sharp it's still the same kind of bone structure and the same can be said for their bodies. You can see that both dramatic and soft dramatic look pretty tall, so they have a long vertical line. They have some angular shoulders. They also have some long and narrow arms and legs. And at the same time, soft dramatic is going to have a bit more softness on top of this yang skeleton. So that is the yin undercurrent of the soft dramatic. But of course, they still share the same main type, which is dramatic, because of their skeleton and their facial bones. 
So that is it, you guys. That's all I have to say. If you have questions or comments, of course, leave them down below. And also, I will leave a link down below to some videos that I think could be relevant. And I will also leave a link down below to my consults. If you still don't know your body type or don't know your coloring, you can check those out. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.